Thank you for joining me. My name is Santiago Rodriguez. I'm a Jesuit scholastic and one of the contributors at Evo Edna and Redivo. I'd like to speak to you today about self-discipline and how important it is for us to grow in discipleship, in our following of Jesus Christ, the gift of the Father. Over the last few weeks, as I have shared and talked to young adults in conferences, retreats, and in other places, many of them have shared with me how difficult it is for them to grow in self-discipline, to get a stronger willpower. And so what I'd like to do is to share with you some of the things that I've shared with them and some of the things that I've discovered since then. One of the first things I told them, uh, one of the things that I, that I discover as I analyze it, is that self-discipline and discipleship, you know, really the words discipline and discipleship, have the same root, the same word as a root, and that is the Latin word dicere, which means to learn. And so to grow in discipline, in self-discipline, really, is to learn, to discover, to find life-giving ways. You know, things that engage our hearts and our minds. Find things that bring us joy, that bring growth, help us to live life abundantly. And so that our hearts find the resilience, the resistance, the endurance to be able to go time and time again to those sources. And so in many different ways, to grow in self-discipline means to, you know, learn through trial through trial and error, which means, you know, to learn the things that work and the things that do not work for us. Also, listening to the experiences of all the people, you know, what is working for them. And last but not least, through the insights and graces that we received in prayer. Let me also highlight some other things that have worked for me in my own journey. Self-awareness. The Greek philosopher Socrates said it best, know thyself. As we engage in experiences, such as, you know, the examination of consciousness, as we become aware of how God is present in our lives and how we are responding to that presence, we also learn, you know, the areas of our lives where we need to grow, the areas of our lives where we need God's grace to work. Also, the sacraments. You know, there is no better way to grow than to become more like Christ through Christ himself. You know, as we frequent the sacraments, as we celebrate those sacraments, it is God's own life that takes flesh in us. And so little by little, our hearts learn to give more, learn that endurance, that love for what is good and beautiful, true and sacred. And they find the resistant endurance to be able to go time and time again to those sources of eternal life. Community or companionship. It is extremely important and very important for us to take the time to be with friends, to have healthy friendships and companions, people who love us, who inspire us, engage our hearts and our minds, but also people who will keep us accountable, people who will help us to curb our enthusiasm for base things. So accountability here is very important, to have people that will constantly ask us, you know, what is it that we need to do uh, or how is it that can help us to strive for more self-discipline, but also people who will pray for and with us. And that is very important in our journey to become better disciples. Last but not least, I subscribe to this idea that self-discipline is like a muscle. The more you train it, the stronger you become. And so if you think, for example, of something like prayer, you know, someone might struggle to pray for a full hour or to give themselves fully in that hour of prayer. But if you think, for example, of those who are doing weight training, they might struggle with the bigger weights. They'll start training with you know, lighter weights, you know, 10, 15, 20, 30, and they make their way, they will make their way towards the heavy weights. And so it is with us in prayer. We struggle through an hour, and so we start with 10, 20, 30, 40 minutes. And as we do so, we ask for the grace that God will help us to endure. And so we receive endurance, the resistance, the resilience to stay, stick with it. So these are some of the ways that have helped me to acquire life, life in abundance, to acquire more self-discipline. And I'm not perfect. I'm still struggling in many different ways. But the more we take the time to exercise, to experience, to allow these and other ways to help us to grow in self-discipline, the better disciples we become. The more time we take to pray, 
to be with companions and with friends, the more we're able to give our, of ourselves and help to build the kingdom of God. Thank you.